Hello everybody and welcome to another video on uh, Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. So uh, this video is going to be on uh, the campaign overview. So uh, bunch of pictures and stuff. First comment, it looks good. I, I like the style. I'm guessing some troops there. This little race thing is troops. That's just a guess. So, uh, of course, you can maneuver your ships, engage enemy ships. I believe you can also do hit land targets. Uh, each chapter traverses the region of European or American waters, and it consists of multiple battles, events, and other points of interest. And it has multiple stages or turns which are measured in one month uh, at a time which uh, after every stage is updated new challenges new fleets so it's just a bit like the ultimate general one so there's historical events and those triggered by players they're triggered by player action so exploration and other sides trigger a story and well like it, it'll be a bit more interactive I guess than the ultimate general one since ultimate general you just had battles you either did them or you didn't you lost or you won of course there was some effect on whether you won or lost there it'll also influence here but you're more free to do stuff here and talking about the missions there are two types you have uh, epic and minor battles and uh, that's pretty much like uh, you know as they see here, the previous Ultimate General game. Assign a number of ships for duration of stages and await the outcome. So basically, in a sense, a free reward, but of course, you're going to have to balance it. Are you going to need those ships later? Those ships will be gone, of course, and will they be able to win it? So it is an it could potentially be an easy win, uh, quote unquote, but there are risks associated. Of course, important part of the campaign fleet management. So here you can see the HMS Agamemnon, some other word, ones here like the Alert, Agamemnon, the Indefatigable, the Constitution, oi, no good England, um, US, I mean. There's some upgrades here, the cannons on the different decks, the weight, the crew and officers, stuff like that. And of course you have technology in this game. So it allows you to develop more powerful and flexible ships, weight, skilled crews. And there are two types of ships, I believe I've mentioned them in another video, which are warships and transports. And uh, while playing the game, Players will earn renown based on their actions, and uh, just like uh, the Ultimate General games, which you can use to get stuff like carronades, uh, brass or air guns, I guess research. Uh, yeah, to order new ships and research technology. So it is important, and uh, you will also gain experience, which allows you to uh, improve Admiral skills, and uh, yeah, improve uh, your entire situation so so this was the first look at the battle or uh, the campaign map I'm liking how it looks it looks like an ultimate animal map ultimate general map with more freedom I guess that's it from my end uh, for this video there isn't much more for me to mention really just something to keep an eye on I'm interested I do like the extra freedom you get on the campaign map. Gives me, especially with the one month turns, it gives me a very much uh, ultimate uh, or uh, Napoleon Total War game feel. Th this just keeps on giving a Napoleon Total War feel, but more focus since this is Ultimate Admiral. Of course, the research thing. Uh, we'll, we'll see how that is. I'm looking forward to find out how uh, the ship ordering and all of that is going to work. But uh, we'll find that out in the future. So uh, 
Until next time, I do hope you enjoyed. Be sure to check out the other videos on Ultimate Admiral and check out their website. And be sure to leave like, subscribe, and all that, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!